Uh, in this video, I am going to be showcasing some of the uh, new features that I have found in macOS Mojave and what my experience has been with it so far. Uh, warning, do not upgrade to Mojave if you're using your Mac as a daily driver and you, you know, need stability. For one, this really annoying message keeps coming up uh, that Adobe Creative Cloud needs to be updated for Mojave, which, I mean, yes, it's a brand new operating system, so obviously uh, the apps would need to be updated for it. But, you know, if you need all of your stuff to work, then don't upgrade to this beta software. Now, uh, I'm going to start off with my favorite thing. I absolutely love the dark mode. It is amazing and beautiful and, you know, it's, 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 it's just beautiful. You know, I wonder, there has to be a new desktop, uh, new desktop background, right? Let's see what it is. Ooh. Mojave Night, Mojave Day, Mojave Dynamic. You know, based on your location, I like that. That looks really nice. And I'm not going to mess with my screensaver. I like that. That's... Is this an... Alrighty then. And here's another feature that I've noticed. Any uh, apps that you don't have... Uh, in the dock permanently, if you open them and then close them, there there's this new little divider here, and it keeps recently opened apps. So I can right click on that and remove from the dock again. So that's a nice feature, I guess. I'm gonna find out if I can turn it off, but I'll do that you know later. All right. So this dark theme, I'm I'm absolutely loving it. Everything about it. Like, thank you, Apple, finally. <laughs> Alright. Uh, there's another thing that I found. Actually, uh, I heard about it. And that is stacks. Now, personally, I don't keep a whole lot on my desktop. In fact, these pictures that I put on there, I only put it on there to showcase this. Um, you can either right-click and click on Use Stacks. Or you can go to View. If you are in the Finder or if you're on the desktop, and you can also find use stacks. And what that does is it sorts all of the files on your desktop by type. So you see we have images there. If I had more shortcuts, shortcuts would have their own stack. If I had more hard drives, hard drives would have their own stack. So for people that have really messy desktops, you know, that, that's really, really good for you. And one more thing, the App Store is uh, different. I noticed this when I first updated to Mojave, and uh, oh, I got really salty because I made another video that I will have tagged at the end of this one on how to make your apps go full screen without, you know, going full screen. You know, how like, so like, uh, let, let's go hey, like this. Just like this. Okay, you don't want it to take up the entire screen, but you still want it to be, you know, like full screen, like that, you know, like in Windows. Uh, the App Store doesn't do that anymore, apparently. So, you know, that bothered me. But, and, ah, oh, I just love this dark theme so much. And here are apparently all of the changes. Whether you're an expert photographer or first time coder, Activity Pro or a longtime musician, your next favorite Mac app is waiting to be discovered. Hmm. I'll just scroll through this so that if you want to read it, you know, you can. Okay, the Discover tab, that is pretty cool. It's a lot like iOS, actually. Rise of the Tomb Raider is on the Mac Store. <laughs> Civilization? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who games on a Mac? I like Macs, and even I wouldn't try gaming on them. And we see this little recent... I wonder what would happen if I clicked on that. Oh, nothing. Alrighty. Alright, let's remove that. Alright, and I'm going to wrap this video up. 
uh, just by telling you, actually, you know, let, let's just do this. Yes, I use Bing, don't judge. With a new operating system comes a new list of supported Macs. So now the cutoff date, I believe the previous one was 2011 for MacBook Pros. Now MacBook Pros 2012 are newer, which this one just happens to be 2012. So I'm uh, anxious to see if it'll get the next version of Mac OS X. Anyway, uh, for Mac Pros, 2012 or newer. For MacBook Airs, also 2012 or newer. For MacBooks 2015 and later, because, you know, they kind of ended the MacBook line for a while until they finally brought it back. iMacs, late 2012 or newer. iMac Pros, those have only been around since 2017, but okay. Mac Pros, late 2013 or newer, or mid-2012 and mid-2012 models with metal-capable GPU. Interesting, I'm going to research that and find out what that is. And the Mac Minis, late 2012 or newer. When was the... Like, they haven't even updated the Mac Mini since, like, 2014, I think. But, that's interesting. Uh, and something to note, in case you were wondering if your Mac was compatible with Mojave. Anyway, uh, that'll wrap up this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Bye.